Hey folks, welcome back to our RimWorld 1.0 playthrough with the Cold Foresters. We are trying to put together our ship to get out of here, but first we're putting the wall up. Uh, which we're using granite for, which is going to require a few more, a little bit more hauling, a little bit more stone cutting, but Arison is here as we speak, cutting a granite chunk. And we get 20 blocks per chunk, at least for her skill level. I think that's fairly consistent. And each section is five pieces, so that's four blocks. So yeah, this should be up in no time. There more hauling happening. Noise set our dog. Now, did we start with Noise set? Was Noise set part of our original, like our random pet that we had? Well, we can actually find out right now. The records. Time is a colonist. Five point eight years. Ng. One of our first. Five point eight years. So yeah, way to go, Noise set. Noise set has been through a lot. Huge fan of Noise set. Uh, your tail's been bitten off and your nose is shattered, but otherwise you're not too worse for wear. Your right eye has a scar. You've come close quite a few times, though. We got a bulk goods trader. This is fantastic. Uh, because we could buy some steel. We're only down to 25. And maybe some stone blocks, actually. Might as well. We've got some money. Oh, we had a big spend last episode. So we don't have a ton. Yeah, I think these symbols are new. I don't remember seeing these these uh, bonded and pregnancy symbols on this screen at least uh, chickens and pigs no although next time I think I would like to get a little pig or chicken farm going um, we've got insect meat we're almost out of that we have human meat that we are gonna use to make kibble Oh, actually looking up here we need some wood too we'll buy some um, neutromine 81 but we probably have 150 stacked in our in our room here, but that's fine. We use it all the time. We'll get another 50. Components. Yeah, I never like to pass up an opportunity. We'll take like 10, though, since we've, we're doing pretty well. Advanced. Yeah, sure. We're going to need a lot of them. Um, in fact, what would, it what would it take to spend all of this? Yeah, because eventually we're going to need to use components to make advanced components. And this is this could start dwindling pretty fast, so we'll go ahead and get as much as we can when we can. Um, let's sell some leather that we have just little p bits and pieces of. We'll sell the human leather. I'm not going to make anything out of that because I don't want someone to accidentally wear it uh, and get a debuff. We have a few people that would like it, but I don't want to manage that too closely. Uh, so we'll sell the human leather. We've had 200 rhinoceros leather forever and not made anything from it, and it's one of the best. Um, smoke leaf joint. Yeah, we're on a trade ship, right? So we'll sell all of it because we got another 300 sitting right here in our poker room. Um, oops. Uh, steel will take 635, sure. Do we take jade for crafting? 500 jade for a large, or 500 silver to make a large sculpture? Yeah, probably not. We are low on uranium. We gotta make that trip as soon as the snow, uh, eases up. Maybe if we're lucky, we can get there and back before planting season. But, I mean, our miners don't aren't really... I think we have a, not too much crossover between our, our good miners and good planters. So, it's okay if they're away for the start of growing season, I guess. Granite blocks, 1511. Yeah, let's take uh, 200. Should be plenty. It's not too expensive. Beer, we'll sell it all because we got another 100 right here. Uh, wood, yeah. Let's give us 750 wood. And we've got a bunch of clothes to sell, which should get us back actually pretty close to a profit, potentially. We'll keep the flak pants um, that are unused. The, yeah, definitely want the flak jacket gone because it's, it gets too cold here for us to use that. Uh, everyone gets the cold debuff. Um, the parkas are nice, but we got through winter, so I'm, I'm assuming we'll make more by the time we need them. Yeah, we'll get rid of all this stuff. And we're already making a profit off these guys. So I might go back and buy more bulk goods. Yeah, because I'm going to sell all this and use... If there's any excess that they can't afford, I'll, we'll go back and uh, buy some more bulk goods. Um, yeah, 69%. That's fine. Someone can use that. Gold. Um, oh, it looks like we finished one of our sculptures. And it's normal. That was Tico's for sure. King of the normal sculptures. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, let's get, um... We took all their steel. Let's take, like, 50 plasteel. No, we're not going to need that much, actually. We, ha we have it all that we need. I would love if they had uranium, though. Um, you know, let's take let's take a hundred jade. Make a sculpture out of it. Okay, I think we'll leave it there. Actually, you know what? Let's get a thousand wood. Yeah, let's do that. A lot of stuff to haul in as it comes down. Where it lands, I don't know. Oh, it's up here, pretty close to the stockpile. That's cool. Wonder how it determines that because we have a few of these beacons. Oh, this doesn't even cover the whole room. I'd forgotten about that. This one does. Um, a lot of capable haulers right now. Major break risk for Huber. Yeah, just hang in there, buddy. A few more days. And you'll completely forget about your daughter. So we have enough materials to get this wall done, and I'm assuming they will... Want, oh, actually, the second it's... You know what? I'm going to take care of this now. We'll deconstruct that. And I'm actually going to force Mike to do it on his way back, because otherwise it's kind of a low priority. And it'll take a while to get done, and I want this to get done quickly. Uh, so let's get you here. And we might double wall this. I don't know. Al just ate a tree. But we have enough trees for Al to do that. Uh, Al's not allowed to go in this zone, so hopefully some of these can mature to the point where we can harvest them. Uh, so someone is mining. We're up to 54%. We've probably gotten a few out of that. I wonder if we want a few more turrets within the base. Maybe just a, a partner here. I don't know. I mean, drop pods right on top of us could be a big problem. Um, you know, maybe some traps here and there. I don't know. I'm sure we'll get attacked at some point. Or if we do get attacked, we'll see some... You really see your vulnerabilities when that happens. So maybe we'll let that inform our next decision. All right, so the wall is done. Uh, what do we start with? The ship reactor? 70 uranium. We don't have that, actually. We only have 48. So why don't we get our computer core down? That seems like the, less, the least material intensive. And maybe one of these beams. Um, yeah, two, per beam, 200 steel. Yeah, we're going to have to keep buying all the steel we can and maybe flip, maybe just continue to mine and get a bunch of, uh... I have research on a pretty low priority right now because we got through the tree. I even flipped this off even though we're not quite done. But I don't see a lot of people using this. And I might, I might want to revisit those priorities. People are dropping off pieces here. So all the, st all the steel is there, all the advanced components are there, and then we, we definitely have the gold in the AI uh, Persona Core. Here comes the gold. And Pacheco dropping off the final piece, and probably we'll start building it. How does this do on your skill? Yeah. You're decent. We have some tattered apparel, three guys. I'm guessing it's a yeah shield belt. So I mean we get the debuff, but I'm not too concerned about it. We have, we do have a build to make shield belts. Do we? They're pretty low priority. Yeah, uh, we have the hit points set. We're not counting equipped. Poor normal. Well, this one is doesn't satisfy that. Where these shield belts belts are, I don't know. Oh, okay, they're they're scattered. Okay, yeah, here we go. So presumably, Pacheco will take care of that. Uh, Pacheco is now binging out on food. Yeah, Pacheco loves food and drugs. 
And even if she's in a good mood, she's just going to do that sometimes. But, you know, not a, not a big deal. Although, hold on a second. Meals are getting a bit low. Raw food, not high either. Let's do some hunting. Uh, and right, the blight didn't take over again, did it? No, we're, we're good. We got it. Plugging away to growing season. Uh, what are we up to in our travel time to this? We're going to have to go there and back because we're going to need to bring the muffalo and our, our, our alpacas. And it's too expensive to transport pod them. But it's only a two-day trip. So I think we want to start thinking about this trip. Um, now, let's look at our work tab here. Our miners that are, that are for sure coming are Big Red, Johnny... Oh, and Burton. That's right, we got a couple new recruits recently that have passion. And I, you were already up to a seven. I think you were like a three or a five or somewhere around there. Julian, Burton, and also Lady? I mean, none of these guys are great growers. Well, Johnny and Burton are solid growers. Actually, Johnny. So maybe we could leave Johnny behind to man the drills. And do our growing. Meanwhile, like Big Red for sure is coming because he can't plant. Uh, Burton has some passion and skill. Yeah, Julian, you don't do it. So Big Red, Julian, Ladybird. Um, NG and Lines maybe. Kind of our two. Oh, actually, Lines is a great grower, so no Lines this time. NG maybe Huber. Actually, Huber has mining passion. And a tinny. They don't plant. Okay. So we'll bring our miners. Let's see. Who is that? Yeah, this group will probably need a bunch of food, though, since their growing skill is so terrible. Um, so tinny Huber. Lady Julian. Big Red. Yeah. I'm totally going to forget that. Uh, seems like I need to write this down somewhere. Uh, Big Red. Julian. Lady, NG, Huber, Tinny. Okay, we'll see. Um, form Caravan. Big Red, for sure. Lady is coming. Huber is coming. A tinny is coming. Burton is coming. Uh, NG is coming. I don't see Burton. Burton. Here's Burton. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um... I don't really want to take away too many more than that from our colony. I mean, these, these, these guys are going to draw some attention. Um, right, I think that's correct. Uh, I mean, I could look at them individually, but I don't think so. I think I'm okay with this. I'm, I might be forgetting someone. Uh, oh, Julian, right? We are forgetting Julian, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you like to mine. You're pretty good. You're not a good planter yet. Let's get Julian. I don't love having this many melee guys with animal hunters or man hunters. We've got three. Actually, you know what? I am pretty cool with that because uh, they'll be our front line. We'll have three shooters behind them. We should be able to take out 11. Um, 11 links is pretty pretty easily. All right, so let's get our caravanners. We've got Ali Jr. We've got Muffalo almost. More than double the carrying capacity. Eats just about double, a little bit less than double, but do, but can graze. Uh, no, we're not taking it all. Um, yeah, just our caravanners. Our mass is up to 459 kilograms, and uranium is one kilogram per. So we'll see how much extra weight we have as we leave, and uh, that will help us decide what... You know, when we can stop mining and hit the road again. We'll take all the pemmican. We will take... Where are... Yeah, I guess we don't have any more lavish meals or fine meals. We'll take 40 meals. That's only 2.6 days with this group. Uh, 60? Well, that's kind of a problem. Uh, let's say we take 100 meals. 7 days of food. Hmm. 
That's a bit problematic, but whoever stays behind is going to need to start cooking. We, oh, that's a little bit shaky, but we're, we're going to count on the guys staying back to pull it off. Uh, besides that, we'll take a stack of this medicine. We'll take 25 regular medicine. We'll take some tea for our moods. Uh, same with the joints. Um, some doses of panoxyclean. Like 12, two doses. Um, maybe a shock lance in case we get ambushed. Yeah, we'll take two. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why are we taking seven people? Is that too many? I might, I might bump that down. Four, five, six. We do have seven bed rolls. On the on the upper hand or on the other side, like, yeah, we are dealing with eleven enemies, and they'll mine it faster. So it might be a quick trip with this many, and hopefully we don't leave ourselves too vulnerable. Our defenses are a bit better back at our base with guns and things. Uh, so it makes me a little nervous, but I think we just got to go for it. Um. I'm not going to bring any special weapons. I might regret that. Uh, we will take a little gold for trading, or silver rather. And I think that's going to be okay. Hopefully no one's clothes get destroyed on the way there. Oh, yeah, we'll take like a case of beer. Actually, they, they don't drink that much, so we'll, t we'll just take 12. Okay, I think that's fine. We got our sleeping spots, we got our food, we got our medicine. We got our animals. I might want something besides a sniper rifle, but no, it's fine. We're good. Okay. Choose route. We're going over here. Two days. Got 6.6 .6 days of food. So that gives us two days there. Alright. Good luck, guys. And off they go. It's hard snow, so what's movement looking like? Um... Can't see well. I actually, can't see movement difficulty, but not how it's not how the weather is affecting it. I guess. Right. Oh yeah. So tundra plus one. So we're not getting any winter debuff, even though there's still snow on the ground. Can't graze for 2.7 more days, but we can forage, and the animals we eat the forage foods. So. That might have been why our days of food number dropped a bit because it accounted for our animals being fed by the human food. Huber again. Yeah, hang in there, Huber. You do seem to avoid snapping. I think you've gone on one insulting spree, maybe more. Oh, we're sending you along? That might have been a mistake. We really... And you're on edge. What's your bio? Your mining is not even that good. We're going to remove you from the caravan last minute. I don't want I don't want that caravan stopping. So where are you now? How does that work? I've never done that before. You're coming back. And these guys are now traveling. Okay. Approach lump of uranium. Those, those are your orders. Okay, off they go. Uh, one and a half days. Pretty good trip. Uh, I do kind of like these here slowing things down, but... Yeah, we don't need it yet. Oh, we still haven't laid this down. we got to get this up and running. Uh, it's not like power is an issue, but when these go out, um, we do start to see some flickers. So I want to get this up and running. So on the times where we forget about our wood, uh, oh good, this is not roofed, right? Did I get the remove roof? I did. Okay. Uh, we'll unforbid that, and we'll start laying the power. We do have the steel to do it. Yeah, we should. That should be fine. Uh, so how it's going to work is. I mean, I guess it'll just come from here to use less. Through here, across our bridge, across that gap. I'll do it all the way so it's connected even if something happens to this vent right here. Um, a pack of wool particle. Master work. Very good, Mal. Yeah, we're not keeping on top of the cleaning whatsoever. I mean, Philly does it first thing but it's only so much one person can do. Caravan request. Bionic Eye times three. They'll give us a Masterwork Charge Rifle, an Elephant Leather Duster, and a good minigun. 
I'm surprised these three things are worth more than that. Oh, two masterworks. Uh, we're fine. We, we <laughs> Bionic eyes are not very easy to come by. They take a while to make. They're material expensive. And we get eyes. We lose eyes quite a bit, so we need them. Stream break, Huber. Yeah, I'm probably for the best that you're not there. Recreation unfulfilled. You can take care of that yourself. Combat supplier showing up. Nice. Uh, oh, this is all done and nothing to show for it. We don't really need these blocks, so I'm just going to leave them as is. I want to queue this up really quickly. I don't need to go quite that far. We'll go... Yeah, I guess just that is enough. Uh, I can cancel that this one. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, green hair. Uh, Huber's binging on smoke leaf. Fine. I I'm okay with that. Just please don't go on a murdering spree. Keep finding these slag chunks everywhere. I guess I just haven't been on top of it. Okay, so they're here. Uh, Serrano, why don't you come trade with them? You're consuming a fine meal. Once you're done with that, uh, go trade with them. Cue that up. All right, you're done. What are you selling? Shells. We do okay making our own shells. Oh, you're are you tribal? No, you've got guns. You've got a smoke pop belt, which is sort of interesting for our non-combatant combatants. Um... But yeah, I think we're just going to sell you some stuff and recoup some money. I don't know why our money is this high. I thought we spent a bunch just recently. Uh, whose was this? Oh, it doesn't matter. No one's using it. I guess no one's. We're using a longsword, not a gladius. Um, machine pistol, yes. Sniper rifle, yes. Uh, LMG. Normal assault rifle we'll hold on to. Yeah, it's our only backup assault rifle. LMGs, nine sniper rifles of normal quality or better. We have three or four equipped already, so we'll keep the good one, and I'll be fine with that. We can make another one if we really need to. We're definitely keeping our Doomsdays and Triple Rockets. We don't need this many Molotovs. I like keeping one, even though we never use it, but I feel like it's a good tool to have in the toolbox. All this stuff that's too low percentage to wear. Uh, actually, we'll keep the 84% poor flak vest. That's fine. Same with these, and same with these four normal shield belts. Those are good enough. And we'll make 1,200 silver off of it. Uh, oh, they don't have enough, so we can buy maybe a little bit of medicine. And you know what? I'll take a few shells. The high explosives, I think, we use the most of. Okay, we'll take three of those. Okay. All right, 5th of April, May. Still below freezing outdoors, but hopefully the snow is stopped and will melt soon. It slows us down quite a bit. This got built. Ship computer core. I would like to build this next because it generates power. Um, but if we build this, we won't be able to refill this sniper turret, which takes uranium. I mean, it is filled right now. We only have 48 anyway, so we couldn't finish that part regardless. Prisoner rescue quest. A prisoner being held by the outlaw vampires has managed to steal a radio. Samantha is being held at a camp nearby under armed guard. 31-year-old minister, uh, 11 enemies. We have 19 days. It's close by. We can't do the same tactic we did last time. We can't just blow the whole thing up. Um, but I don't know. We can make it at even 20. I think we have 19 people right now. Uh, Pacheco is now about to break. Um, yeah, it's so dirty everywhere. Okay, hold on. Don't do this very often, but everyone just start cleaning. After this episode, I'm going to do a full review of the work tab, I think, off camera. Let's, uh, let's do that first. The reason, I mean, having cleaning a high, priori uh, high priority is nice because your base stays clean. And not a non-clean base can lead to all sorts of other problems. Like mood debuffs and food poisoning and things. But... Um, Going to clean can interrupt like other jobs pretty easily. 
if it's a higher priority. Like you could be mining across the map and then suddenly a smudge appears right here and you're and the guy reevaluates and decides I got to go clean that smudge. Um, so that's why I don't like having it at the highest priority, but this is just getting ridiculous. We got to do something about this. And I'm going to force you to come in here because this is the most important um, cleaning area. There we go. Uh, dirtiness in here, as far as I know, doesn't matter. Like once the meal is made, it's not gonna. It doesn't care if it gets dirty. I don't think. Uh, even the butchering station, I don't believe, is a big factor. I think it's just when you cook it that's got to be clean. All right, so I can already see a difference. Uh, nice to see someone researching too, actually. Because I think to build this ship, we're gonna have to do a little bit more mining out away from our base. Uh, these haven't been gotten to yet. Uh, minor break risk. Okay, better than major or extreme. They'll be okay. Philly is now up to major. That's a new one. Intense pain and hungry. Well, you're eating now. Constraining clothes. Are you a nudist? You are. Well, if it wasn't so cold, I'd let you wear whatever you wanted. Um, why are you in intense pain? Food poisoning, okay. You'll be okay. Mal also with food poisoning. Yeah, that should hopefully be, hopefully be fixed now. Um, passing travelers. Can't do anything with them. We're not going to arrest them or anything. But we did arrive at our uranium ore. Things back at the base seem fine. So we'll pop over here. Where are these links? Here we go. All right, well, hopefully we pull this off. Um, let's see. The animals will not be attacked by the lynx. So I'll let them do whatever they want. Although, where is this uranium? Oh, it's just part of the mountain? Oh, cool. That looks a little bit better than before, where it would be just um, like a, a, a meteorite type thing out in the middle. Still don't see any other materials, though, on the map. Which, I don't know, maybe that's a good thing, but I always kind of liked seeing what else you could find while you were out. Anyway. Um, cover doesn't matter. So let's get our uh, melee guys out in front. Which is Lady Julian. Yeah, six makes us a bit tougher. Get you guys right out. Let's see. I'll get you guys right out here. Maybe. Although I want you guys standing side by side. Um... And then your other three right behind you guys. Well, well, we'll readjust when we get out there. Yeah, okay. That worked out somehow. NG, you're about to take a shot. Actually, you're fine there. You're still close enough where you won't hit... Oh, they're on us. Uh, where you won't hit Julian. This is kind of scary all of a sudden. We have two snipers? A tinny... Why are you not firing? Yeah, our weapons for this are not good. Uh, our melee guys are going to have to hope that they do their job and their shields protect them. We're all meleeing, which is not good. Collins needs a rescue. Lady's down. We should finish him off, although this just didn't go very well. Uh, Burton, you come around. I think that's all, I think that's all we need to do. This is a great start. Come on, guys. Finish this off. Okay. We've defeated the enemies. Two guys down. Dead in six hours. Dead in six hours. Dead in nine hours. No danger. But your left fourth toe was just bitten off. What else happened here? Uh, you just got a scratch scar immediately. <laughs> it's already scarred. Uh, you got a lot of little bleeding going on, but we should be able to patch this up. Burton... I don't know why you guys are dying this fast. Uh, just blood loss, I guess. It's yeah, so hopefully no permanent injuries. Uh, and hopefully someone here is a doctor. You're not very good. You suck. Uh, Burton, no. Julian. Okay, Julian, you're going to be doing it for everyone. So what are we doing with this? Um, we're just going to do it right here on the ground. I think that's the safest way to do it. Uh, we'll get three sleeping spots that will make medical two other ones 
We should have our parkas on, so the cold should be no big deal for us. It's 23. That's fairly warm for us. I'll make you guys medical. Burton, you rescue... Rescue Lynx. No, rescue Lady. Julian, you rescue a Tinny. Big Red and NG, you guys... I don't know what we do here. Um, we're eventually going to... It's kind of a far way to mine, but... Um... Oh, I need to drop all this gear. Uh, so what I'm going to do is set up a quick animal zone. Area 1 is going to be here. And I want all of our animals in it. And once they get there, they're going to drop all of our food and medicine. And I'm going to do an unforbid all here. Forbid all items. Oh, allow all items. Okay, they tweaked that a bit. Um, now, Julian, you are tending. Great. Now... You're tending with no medicine, which is not ideal. There's a few meals we'll get on the ground. Uh, get the joints down, get the bed rolls down. We might go install those up top. Uh, Paco, what do you have? Medicine 25, great. Um, get the beer down. I don't want to drop too much stuff because I do see us moving up here and maybe setting up our beds up closer to the uh, uranium. Alpaca 1, oh, we got to figure out your name. You're like, a, you're like Ali or... Yeah, you're Alley the Fourth or something. We'll, we'll figure that later. Okay, so Julian, reset so you can use medicine on these guys. And I'm going to put you on self-tend. That'll be fine. All right, so our quality is decent. Um, Burton, are you stabilized? Burton is not quite stabilized. A tinny should be stabilized. Um, okay, so now you're going for Lady. Great, who's more injured than Burton, just barely. All right, you're doing a great job. Okay. Now, Burton, I need your help. Is that who you're doing? Tending to Burton. Excellent. Way to go, Julian. Um, probably should have been more careful about who we brought in terms of making sure we had a doctor, but we, we, we had one in the end. We take six people at random, basically. We're going to have at least one doctor, I figure. And now you're resting. But you're going to be dead in 18 hours, so why don't you tend to yourself? How does that work, Julian? If you tend to yourself... Yeah, there we go. I don't want to see a dead in anything right now. Um, alcohol binge for Julian. Okay, I mean, it was a long night. Um, meanwhile, I am going to get the mining order out on all of this. Um, and I'm going to let them sleep. Uh, and start installing all of these beds, I think. Um, gear. So you got the meals. Um, actually, no, I'm just going to move the animals now up to here. This is going to be our new area one for the animals. There's a, a little bit of grass to graze on. And I'm going to clear this allowed area for the animals. And then I'll have them drop some of the stuff up there. This will install. Let's get a little. I mean, we're going to be sleeping outdoors, sleeping in the cold. That's just going to have to be how it is. I don't think it's worth setting up a structure and building a fire or anything like that. Um, yeah, you're binging. We're here. I assume things back at home are okay. Julian's still binging. No one is still bleeding. It might be a while before they can move, though. But everyone here pretty much can mine a little bit. I think maybe NG is the only one that's not really good at it. Starvation. We've got meals. Yeah, do you need someone to feed you? That's probably what it is. Uh, your moving is very poor. You could do it, but uh, NG, why don't you feed a Tinny? Oh, a Tinny's getting up. Okay. Yeah, you can feed Lady and Burton. Uh, we will make a little mini stockpile up here. Just for the things we've already dropped. And I will roof it. Just to slow down the deterioration rate. We did get a disease. Yeah. Um, that needs to be treated right away, though. Out on the road, the diseases uh, are a little bit more dangerous. 
Okay, your immunity is 5%. The disease is at 7 or at 8, and now you're at 7. So it looks like you're on pace to catch it, but I don't know. Yeah, another infection. These guys are not holding up well. We got those beds down, though. And now we have the animals up here, so I'm going to uh, drop a few more beds. Get that and that. And that. And you have a sculpture for some reason. It's not a good use of weight. Uh, we'll probably not take that with us. Okay, so these will get hauled to our stockpile eventually. We've got enough food. Um, I thought we brought six beds. Am I, oh, I'm probably missing the bear fur one. I just didn't notice it. Yeah, here it is, bear skin. Uh, so everyone's getting a disease. We get all these beds put in. Which will help our recovery a bit. I think that's all of them. Uh, deconstruct these. Transport pod crash. Atini's gotten sick. Um, okay, so NG is doing the tending. Which is fine. Once these guys get up, I'm going to make a... Uh, well, I don't know. We'll see. We're, we're mining, though, at least. We've got enough meals out for now. Uh, what is this? A construction engineer named Barnett has crashed nearby. Uh, badly wounded. So not on our... Oh. She is on our base. Okay, so someone can go grab her. Tico, you're cleaning dirt. Why don't you go rescue Barnett? And I don't know if she joins automatically or not. It's kind of gone back and forth. Um, I think she is not likely to join unless we capture her and then make her a prisoner and go go that route. But I don't know. Uh, okay, eight meals. We need to drop a few more meals here. Drop some medicine, too. Just in case we need closer medicine. Um... We brought Alpaca 1. I guess you can carry stuff. Oh yeah, I guess... You're, you're just smaller than I expected. Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, shoot, you slaughtered our muffalo. Damn it, Atini. Well, I don't know how we're getting all this uranium back. Hmm. Anyone here have animal skill? Julian, you do. Tell you what, instead of mining, you take a break. I think I saw some muffalos over here. Um, here's a ten-year-old, seven-year-old. Go for the six-year-old female here. Maybe we can get lucky in animal sleeping. Okay, right. Um, maybe we'll get lucky. That was uncalled for. Um, I'm going to set up a butcher spot, actually. Whoa, again? Are you still going? Oh, I need to, I need to take a tinny down. Um, damn it. Uh, NG and Big Red have weapons, so I'm going to have you I'm gonna have you guys melee attack a tinny. So you don't cut them or anything. Okay. Now rescue a tinny. Oh, no. Don't go down here. Uh, it's time for you guys to get up and move, right? Can you not move yet? Yeah, we're we're done with these spots, I think. So you guys can get up and move and, and go to the new spots. Lady has now gone berserk. Guys, you need to suck it up for these missions. Maybe we needed Huber after all. I'm going to do an unforbid all. Everything the muffalo was carrying got forbidden. Alright, so where is Lady? Uh, you're going berserk. Burton? You've got a shield belt. Okay, where is Big Red? So, NG, why don't you come up here and we'll get a three on one going. Oh, she's going berserk on the on the Ibex. Burton, what are you doing? You're probably cowering, right? 
Come up here. Yeah, I'm going to draft and redraft so you can get back to business. Uh, Julian, you should be taming first. Oh, it's animal sleeping. Okay. Uh, so here's Lady. Hopefully this gets it out of her system. We'll keep an eye on her. Yeah, the Ibex Ram knocked her down. We'll rescue her. Guys, we have beer and joints, and it's not that cold. We can just lay down if you need to. Got a mad elk. That's back here. Okay, the snow's all melted here. This is, this is a nice sight after being out here. Okay, Julian's going. Come on, get lucky, Julian. Uh, what are you doing? You're taking medicine. Okay, you're doctoring first, which is fine. I'm going to do some, This is probably not worth it, but uh, raw resources. Uranium. Don't put that here. That way they, they won't move it and waste time doing that because I don't really care where it ends up. I would love to get an animal, though. You're consuming a simple meal. After you're done with that, just no usable food. Okay, I think we do have usable food. Um, berries, maybe? And then this alpaca has berries too. That actually probably won't cut it. We'll try. I guess we're out of kibble. Yeah, tame the buffalo with the berries. Come on, let's get lucky. Where are you, Julian? Training. No, not train Alley Jr. Damn it. <laughs> Wait, now I can't. I don't know what is going on. Already taming buffalo. No, you aren't. Okay, that's probably not here. Uh, cargo pods. We'll get the corn in. Get the steel in at some point. Several separate groups of mechanoids have arrived. They are attacking immediately. Five scythers. Um, there's probably another group out here. All scythers, huh? Five from that end. Okay, I'm not terribly worried about this, but we are down six people. Um, everyone else seems like they're in a decent mood back at home. This group is just falling apart, though. And Julian claims he's taming the muffalo, but I don't know. All right, well, I think we'll leave it there. I mean, I, I kind of wanted to get this wrapped up and have them moving out. Um, actually, no, I, I want to see if Julian can tame this muffalo. But I also need to get these guys back in position here. Um, all of our animals need to be in animal two. Actually, polar bear, you need to fight with us. Same with the arctic wolf. Same with Ares is still too young, just barely. Boyle, you're now an adult. Congratulations, you can fight with us now. And that means I can put you guys on uh, animal one permanently. Because when you get drafted, you'll you'll follow your master who will be somewhere safe, presumably. Um, Alcatraz, you're pregnant, so... Well, you're still coming. That's that's fine. Okay, uh... Yeah, the lynx can go wherever. Cougar, polar bear, thrumbo. Um, where are these guys heading? They're splitting up. So some are going for this corner, one's going for that corner. These guys are coming in that way. Okay, um... Let's get two assault rifles here. Let's get... Uh, Huber, what are you using? An assault rifle also? Lines, you should be slid down just one. Let's get one of our energy charge rifles up here. Let's get a shotgun here. Um, yeah, we only have one sniper back. Okay, so that should be good for that side. Uh, Philly. All... It, these turrets enough can handle one cider, so we're going to get the rest of you guys over on this side. Uh, Tico, jump in here. Harrison, with your shotgun, jump here. Matthew, over here. This is built now. Okay, so that's cool. Um, Huber and Mal will be the two assault rifles here. Okay, so Julian... Yeah, you're, you're, trading, you're training Ali Jr. 
So that command didn't work. Um, Pacheco needs treatment. Oh shit, they're already on us. Where is everybody? Uh, try and run, Pacheco. I don't want you to get a, a limb cut off. That's why we have this room here. Okay, they didn't follow you in, luckily. You come out here. What about the other areas? This one's still surviving. That's kind of surprising. The rest look like they were coming this way. A rabbit got killed by something. An arctic fox. That happened a while ago. Um, oh shit, Estelle! Are you not drafted? This sucks. You are? Oh, but Julian is your master. I don't know what's gonna happen there. I think, um... They'll probably attack Estelle. I mean, why aren't they attacking this fox, is the thing. They know that Estelle's with us. Actually, hell, why don't you get all these guys out here? This seems crazy, actually. This should be dead in a second. Yeah, this these, these guys will be dead in a second. Okay, let's undraft all of you guys. Do what you need to do. I would rather not lose Estelle. Okay, they're going to leave Estelle there. But she's going to be dead any second. Alright, you guys sit right here. You should be able to take out two Scythers. more wave. Okay, let's release our animals. And let's get close so we don't shoot our animals. We did hit Willow, it looks like. Okay, don't really like getting into a melee fight with Scythers, but I think it worked out okay. We took some damage. We'll check that. Someone go rescue Estelle. Yeah, reserved by Kimmy, but you're much closer. Um... Unforbid everything. And I think we're okay. Maybe some zoning to fix, but I kind of want to... Tico, you're... Let's unrecruit you and Arison. Uh, you guys are idle. This is all mined for the most part. I doubt we're going to be able to carry more than this, so I think it's time to go. This has been a disaster. Um, yeah, we could butcher this. Yeah, it's just been an overall disaster. Uh... But we come back with some uranium, and no one died except for our muffalo. We can replace the muffalo. Um, where are we? Let's reform our caravan. Yeah, we lost... Uh, well, we lost a, a, a small alpaca, too. So significant amount. I'm going to do the uranium last. We're not taking the alpaca wool. I think I did that last time by mistake. Um... Okay, uh, beer. We'll take a good sniper rifle and your longsword. That's your primary weapon. All the bed rolls. And 590 uranium. How much is that? 175. It's one kilogram per. Where can we kind of shave off a bit? I mean, I don't want to trade your primary weapon for one uranium. Or, I mean, this, I think that's just kind of it. I mean, all this stuff is pretty light. Wait a minute. Half a kilogram per meal? Really? Yeah, we're going to have to ditch some meals. I didn't know they were that heavy. Uh, say 25. Uh, how long is it going to take us? 3.4 days? Shit. Uh, injuries, I guess. So we should accelerate while we're on the road. But, yeah, we're going to need to take 50 to be safe. And that gets us six more uranium. I guess that's something. Okay. And we're going to be doing some foraging. Visibility is pretty high. So getting back safe will be a, a triumph in itself. Oh, this. We don't want the sculpture. Almost missed that. Yeah, I don't know how that ended up in our thing. Uh... But that'll buy us seven more of these. Maybe more. Okay. You know, a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, this seems good. 
Okay, not ideal, but, you know, it could be worse. It could always be worse. And back at home, we're going to clean up the pieces. Let's get everyone kind of back where they belong. Well, I, th I think they already kind of were. And then you guys are here. Yeah, so we'll get some plasteel, some components out of that. Uh, we'll get our traps rebuilt. And... Yeah, be glad that we survived. All right, and yeah, we'll leave it there. We've gone on a bit too long, but uh, when we get back, uh, that uranium will go towards this ship part. Um, it'll be plenty to start building this, so we'll get that underway. This, I believe, starts generating power for us. I don't think we need it, but we might as well hook it up. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, and then we'll start building on top of that, and uh, yeah, keep making our way towards finishing that ship and getting off this world. Thanks, guys. See you next time.